All right, today we have the Eero 6 dual band mesh Wi-Fi router, but it's just one. Let's take a look and see what's up inside the box. Amazon's doing better. The packaging has a little start here. I already have the Eero Pro 6. This is the regular Eero 6. I am buying this for my mother. Let me open it up. It is a much smaller device than the Pro. I mean, this is the size of my hand, which is you know, about the size of my fist. I'll just knock you out with this. In the box, a very nice packaging from Eero Products. A nice cute little plug here. It's USB-C, it does not detach here, but an Eero branding wall wart, which is nice. And then in here, get a nice little information. A very nice looking ethernet cord. And quick start guide, trying to get you on the Eero Plus and all that shenanigans. So here's the Eero itself. Has this little rubber guy here and a little button. USB-C powers it up there and then two ethernet ports. And one has to go to the modem, right? My mother has Spectrum, which is the worst company in the world. We'll plug that up here. And then you have one free ethernet port so you can plug your computer into that. I used to be a big Google Wi-Fi fan. I purchased the original on hub and then it turned out it's garbage. So both the Google Wi-Fi and Nest Wi-Fi. Uh, so I'm upgrading my mother's service from Nest Wi-Fi to Eero, one Eero. I think we'll get the job done. I've been staying over there Lately, she had uh, knee replacement surgery, so I've had to help her out, and it's shocking how bad the Wi-Fi is. I have the Eero Pro 6 at my house, and the Wi-Fi works like a champ. I don't even think about it, it's just excellent. And the Google Wi-Fi and Google Nest Wi-Fi, both, when I had it and now at her house, are all problematic. So, of course, we'll set this up with the Eero app. Now, one benefit of this is that I have my own network, but I'm also going to manage my mother's network from my house so i mean i gotta plug this in at her house of course but then we go here to the network settings you can add a network let me get to where i need to set it up and then we'll work through this so real quick this is on my phone so it's not very great but this is the size difference between the eero this is a dobby it's protecting my network the size difference between the eero 6 and the eero pro 6. it's mm -hmm. drastic i do like how this little guy it's cool looking uh, but here's the pro one that, again, has been flawless for me at my house. All right, here we are. So I'm at my mom's house. This is the Eero, and this is the old Google Nest Wi-Fi, specifically this one. And here's an example of how not great the Wi-Fi is. So I'm on my mother's Wi-Fi now. Let me record my phone. This is literally the main router. Here's the modem is right there. It's just plugged directly into this router and I am going to do a little Wi-Fi speed test action. So we have Spectrum of course which is a terrible company I don't like. So uh, we're actually getting not bad speeds here. Now if you go to the Google Wi-Fi and this is testing it from the actual device itself. All right so we're getting just about the same speed. So as I'm doing this test it's testing fine but I will tell you I was here for two months and it was garbage all the time. But when I plugged in the ethernet, it would be fine. So, uh, I don't tell you, it just wasn't working. It doesn't wanna work right now, but trust me, in my personal experience at my house and my personal experience being at my mother's house, the Google Wi-Fi, Nest Wi-Fi hasn't been great. But I like having the app, right? So, but yeah, you can see the, the non-pro version is smaller than the Nest Wi-Fi. The pro version is bigger than the Nest Wi-Fi. But let's get them started. So first thing to do, of course, is to power up the device. So of course, it's got a USB-C back here. And that comes USB-C with the Eero plug, which I like. I'm gonna push that down the back here. There's no cable management here, but we'll fix that at some point. So the light's on, it's plugged in now. This one's gonna be a little different. So if you're setting up on your own, I have another video about setting up new. I'm setting this up as adding the device to my existing network. So that's my home Wi-Fi. It's called Lure Palace. My wife is Lure. We live in a palace. So here we go. So I want to control my mother's Wi-Fi from my house because she doesn't know anything about Wi-Fi. 
And my brother and sister also know nothing about Wi-Fi, so if she has problems or anything like that, I need to be able to check it from my house. So I'm now going to add a network. So I do have an Eero with two ports, as it says. So now it says unplug your old router, which I will. So now I've unplugged the Nest. I'm gonna use the cable. I don't think it matters necessarily, but I am gonna use the cable that came with it because they're telling me to, and I follow directions. So the one that was in my modem, I'm taking out, which is way longer than the other one was. So I'm just plugging it into the exact same port that was in my modem. Now I'll now plug it into the back of my hero. And both these ports have the same logo on them, so I think it doesn't matter which one you plug it into. I'm gonna plug it into the ones closest. All right, we're gonna see if it can find it. This blinking blue. That means it's in pairing mode. And so it should turn solid blue, it should pair. All right, so I found the Eero 6. And I'm gonna call this the office. And I'm gonna name it the same name as my old one. Of course, you can name it whatever you want here. All right, so I'll put the password in. And we will be connecting to the internet. All right, I didn't turn off my modem earlier when it told me to. I thought maybe I could get away without it, but sometimes I don't listen to rules. Even though earlier I said I did, now I didn't. So let's try again. You said to unplug everything and then let, once it came back on, the lights blinking on the Ubi modem here. First time I did unplug it, and then the second time, I cut out of here. Uh, the lights weren't solid yet, so. All right, it looks like it's working. And that's it, I'm just gonna use one device. I'm gonna skip this for now. All right, so now on the app, I can see the settings here. And all right, there's Elisa's Empire. So now I can go back to here. So I'm at my mom's house now. I can monitor my house, make sure it's good. Go back to settings. And then go to switch network. And I can go back to my mom's house. And I can see what's on it. And you can see. My Z Fold 3 is connected currently. My mom's Pixel 4a and this Y, what is this? All right, and I can get a notification to whenever people join. So if my brother and sister bring their dumb stuff over here, I'll find it. Oh, so that's Roku. So here you can change the device name and you can change the type to Media Streamer. So now I can see that in my mom's house connected to her internet, she has a Chromecast, which is the Google TV thing, the Google Nest Home that she likes, her Roku, her phone, I'm gonna change the type to a phone. Uh, my fold, of course, is my phone. Yeah, so if I wanted to block it from the network, like say my brother and sister came over here and they were getting out of line, I could just kick them right off our network. But this is my phone, so we're not gonna connect. We're not going to take my phone off the network, obviously. All right, and like, I don't know what this 5BC is. Canon, so that's gonna be her printer, which I'm gonna replace. So I'm gonna rename it Canon Printer. And then hit enter. If you click off of it, it doesn't save you. I hit enter to save it. And we're gonna change its type. This type doesn't really mean anything. I think it's just more to help you look at it and determine where it is. Printer should be in here somewhere. Printer. All right, and so now, whenever there's light on technology is. See, I don't know what this is. Now I need to figure out what is this thing in my mom's house communicating with the internet. Light on Technology Corporation. Could be a Russian spy in here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna blur it out, but I'm gonna take the MAC address and look it up and then see if I can figure it out then. But I gotta make sure there's not Russian spies or Chinese spies or someone or even American spies in here getting there. If they are, I'm gonna whoop them because I'm a big dude. So again, yeah, right now I can see what's on my mom's house. And so, for example, if my brother and sister are over here whining, they can't get connected, I can take a look and be like, mm, it's definitely on there. All right, so now she has a software update. It's very simple to software update. Just right in the app. Like I said, I've had the Eero for, I want to say a year or more. I'm not positive, I'll post it up in here after the fact, but like I never worry about my Wi-Fi anymore. And it's been so great. I bought it myself. Amazon doesn't sponsor me or provide me anything whatsoever, right? I bought it with my own money from my own house and it has been fantastic. I have a pro because I'm a professional. Here, I didn't think she needs the pro. This says it covers up to 900 megabits per second and 1500 square feet. Her house is not that big. I mean, it probably is that big, but she doesn't, she only has five devices here, so she doesn't need that much coverage. 
and the computer's gonna be plugged in to the ethernet. Oh, that's another thing. We can plug the computer in the ethernet real quick. All right, so it's gonna restart here with the update. All right, so now my would see how simple it is to update your network. All right, and so then I can see you can do several things, right? You can block apps. Like if I didn't want my brother on Facebook here, I can kick him off Facebook. You can do lots of cool things here. Also, we can do a set up a guest network if I want to. You can check your activity. All right, so we click on the internet. You can see how fast it's going. If you want to run a speed test, you can run it here. There you can see I tested 236 down, 12 up. I think that's exactly what you paid for. So now let's the test is to go right back to the speed test here. And here I am right next to it, of course. And we'll test it and see. So it is ever so slightly faster than the previous test on the Google Wi-Fi, which I would expect, even though it's not much of a difference. Like I said, I was here for two months taking care of, my mother had a knee replacement surgery. So I was here watching her, helping her out, taking care of her. And at nighttime I was trying to game or just do work on my laptop and the Wi-Fi was garbage. And I had to plug in the ethernet to get to work. Yeah, so good speeds here.